Maybe it's my guardian that's the problem as well. I feel like I always play better when I have default stuff. As soon as I put in like cosmetics, I feel like my like my my rune terrace skills tend to diminish. Nightshade Gromp actually is pretty OP. I've heard good things about Nightshade Gromp. So let's see how that goes. I guess we'll try and high roll the one drop. I wouldn't keep Fortune Croaker if I wasn't versing aggro. Uh, Soraka should always be a keep though in every matchup. Where's my axe? I uh, good night homework anxiety. Take care, bud. They won't get past me. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Should be another one drop here. I never miss. Okay, ready. Captain's orders. Pull it to the This is outrage! Yeah, we needed that one drop in this matchup, I think. Uh, regardless, we'll play Soraka. Let me guide you. Coming in hot! Uh, opponent is considering playing parlay to face. No one's the or developing further. Bit of a pause champ there for a moment. Maybe he went to get a drink. In rage. I've got us covered. You are better than this. Seven. Seven is fine. Copium. I need shakedown. I at this point, if we don't draw a shakedown this turn, clear a path for you. we could Good also be in trouble. Too, Vin. Stand back. Be at peace. Four mana for Decimate, Noxian Fervor. Stars fall. Live with purpose. I'm unsure of what play to make. I'm just going to attack to see what my opponent may or may not do. Uh, Shakedown's the only play I would definitely take this turn. Everything else is a little bit awkward. Okay, slapping decimates. I think we're gonna take the fortune croaker line. For silver I talk, for gold I listen. No time, Kench. I think this is the play I want to make. The possibilities this gives me a little bit more card draw. Was I playing three broadbacked? I think I was. Only two. I think I'm only playing two, hey? Alright. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. They were on the trigger. We can stabilize. You are better than this. There is assistant. I guess I can beat double Noxian Fervor. And decimate. This is the play, right? Yeah, this looks good. Ah, uh, this is beating like a lot of things. We're basically beating double Noxian Fervor and we're beating Decimate simultaneously. 
And if he doesn't kill the broadbacks this turn, we just win. He might even go for like killing one of the broadbacks here, although I don't think he's winning at that point. Yeah, this looks pretty good. That broadback protector we drew into is actually kind of cracked. Not all of us are immortal. Is this the legendary double Noxian Fervor hand? It is. Wow. Luckily we took that block, eh? We're live on one? Not done yet. And we pretty much just win now. They got past me. Today we have determined our own fate. Okay. I'll keep Krusty in case we find Star Spring. One drop. Two drop. My shield is yours. Hmm? Who does not know the name Laurent? Yo, Goofball, thanks for the three months. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. What's up, big bitch? I demand that hardly fair. Sag, uh, well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Think we need some card draw. Sag, three and one's not too bad. Three and one's not too bad. We have two plus four mana next turn. Nice. Ooh, the spring. We got the spring. Hello? Spring works really good for winning games. The balance requires a watchful eye. Oh. We can even flex in the guiding touch. We're all family here. This is suddenly feeling pretty good. Oh yeah. This is looking very nice. I lost. Like deve like developing Shen there was honestly the, the best thing for us, right? We had the perfect hand to kind of punish that play. Oh yeah. It must be done. Protect and strike. Yo, what's up, Insane Mantis? Is this the hush angle? Yeah, this is the hush angle. I think getting the dragon off the field is kind of relevant for, play for relevant for playing around strikes and single combat. Everyone here, let's go. Was binging some movies. What movies were you watching? Uh, two team space members made it to top four. Was it a big tournament? 
Or was it just just a small one? For riot coins. Nice. <laughs> save your luck for seasonals. We swim within the flows of magic. Just save your luck for seasonals. Hey, hey, where are you off to? This feels like a bait. Ready for anything. So opponent's gonna repose to my box to pause. I'm fine with that. We can get some healing on our star spring. Oh, that doesn't feel correct. Thoughts on TK Rocker this TK Rocker this patch? Um, what form will the waters take? Waters are still. Initial impressions is that probably not the best meta for it. Initial impressions are probably not the best meta for it. Even like there's not even a meta. That's the thing. I think TK Rock TK Soraka does good in solved metas where like tk rocker is a very good counter deck it's a very polarizing deck so Stand going back. in going into quite a broad meta would probably mean tk soraka wouldn't flourish as much at the same time though if we are facing less of its bad matchups that's also good right i think tk soraka typically does pretty decently against non-Targon decks, so that's one thing as a plus. Uh, Draven Ezreal is a lot less popular, that's a plus. Um, I really Arizia was, you know, slightly favored on the really Arizia, not as popular, uh, but TK Raka does pretty bad against straight up aggro decks, so um, pirate aggro is quite popular. And uh, Even though he, I think Pirate Aggro is unironically a matchup that TK Soraka has a better chance of winning, if that makes sense, compared to other. Because Pirate Aggro is very interactable. Pirate Aggro is like a very fair aggro deck, if that makes sense. And the Make It Rain buff doesn't really impact TK Soraka. Interesting. I'm curious to see how this matchup's gonna go. Oh, dude, Tomorrow War. Is that the new movie with Chris Pratt about the aliens? Yeah, that movie looks pretty cool. Um, I'm only playing two copies of Hush. Or three. A uh, happy Wiglet. Thank you for the follow, man. I'm not going to keep Hush, though. Can't be right to keep Hush. Bro, Tick. Dude, Tom Kench is going to do nothing suck. in this matchup. Yeah, big suck. Can recommend? Okay. I haven't got um Prime. I haven't got Prime, though. I'll figure out some way to watch it. Looks like he do be dropping hammer snout. Okay. Have you got telegram? Um, I'm not sure what that is. The WhatsApp. Okay, that sounds cool. Might have to go into it. That could be good for like Discord stuff. Um, we want to keep three mana up, maybe. Oh, should I just play Krusty? I don't know. My diet is expensively unique. I do 
enjoy prospecting. Hello? Good morning, Sung Wu Tang. How are you, man? I need astral protection. I'm sure there's Look, uh, that's things. pretty good too. This matchup seems pretty rough. Dude, we've just started. This matchup could be winnable. This could be a winnable matchup. I need units. The 4 3? Or the 3? A 4 3. Shape stone. I hush it. Maybe we go for the 3 1. I do not think we need Hush in this meta. Hush should be pretty good against Lurkers, right? How many Lurks is that? Plus three. Pike is quite buffed. Can't play Pike this turn though, so that's fine. Another nibble. Put Hush here. Plays into shape stone. Down to four. I proffer my allyship, demon to star child. Oh, Tom, there may be redemption for you yet. You going live tomorrow at the same time? Roughly, yeah. Oh, I don't require a menu. I'm lacking healing tools. Live with purpose. So double pale's going to have to be acceptable here. They thought they were safe. <laughs> he played that from the top. To see you too. Uh oh. I'm walking into Bone Skewer. Oops. Fuck. Or oh, even. He had the pike anyway. What the hell? I guess I needed to pass there. Uh... Stand back. Yeah, why is one pike bigger than the other? Could we have even won this game had I have just passed? I can't seem to. <laughs> the lurk just keeps unclear. beating me. Red enemies? 21, thank you for follow. To be honest, like, we didn't have the right cards. 
I needed astral protection at least. That would have helped. Okay, this is a good hand. So is that bug just visual? Or is that unit not supposed to be buffed, I guess? Parley, shit. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Fortune favors the bold. This world has such great potential. Ready? Aim? I understand. It's a very passive attack. You pay first. Okay. Love ya. Stars fall. Take heart. We're just gonna open attack here to get the healing immediately. Star child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Star Spring doesn't I'll need to come down you. straight away. We need to like develop the board state first and then look for the Star Spring afterwards. In a second. How okay. is your flock, little shepherd? They're stronger every day, just like me. You are better than this. Probably too much damage. Mwah. We don't block this three two here. Uh, since the Misfortune can be the only blocker here, these Legion Rear Guards can't block, right? Maybe we'll go Star Spring here. Uh, is it even necessary that we develop the Star Spring? It really honestly isn't. This open attack is pretty good. Live with purpose. The possibilities are infinite. With double Astrals in hand, we can develop Star Spring later and get quite a lot of value. That's a good unit to find. He is a little bit wide for my a bit too wide for my comfortability. Take heart. I feel better when you feel better. I'll protect you. We're still sitting on a cozy 20. I'll do better this time. Cozy 20? I've got us covered. I understand. Another path, another problem. Live with purpose. Yeah, we're feeling pretty cozy. Honestly, uh, Pirate Agro doesn't actually do that. There's two times of that Pirate Agro, like. The stars will remember this It's a very time. fair aggro deck. It's a very fair aggro deck.
Maybe I'll play some Mal Malfitalia. Maybe that's the source that's missing. Have you tried Ash LeBlanc yet, or do you think it's not good in the current meta? Um, initial impressions for Ash LeBlanc is that it's probably a fine deck, actually. Discard aggro is less popular. I really or Azir is less popular. I mean, I do enjoy prospecting. The like the Yeti deck that people are playing, you know, experimenting with looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean it should be fine. It's, some of it's good matchups though oh, so aren't like the thing about like all the previous decks and like other decks right is that the problem at the moment is that all of those good matchups that you did have like even though like you're losing some of your bad matchups you're also losing some of your good matchups hey like Ash LeBlanc typically does pretty good against the like Demacia mid-range decks right and like the Fiora decks like the Olin Fiora decks which don't really exist right now it's a bad example, but you kind of get what I mean. It's too late now. This is a little bit risky. His Malphite's nearly flipped. Oh, Tali comes down. Yeah, yeah. Let's put these rocks into motion. I'm what? Put me in motion. He was waiting for me to play something so he could do that. Oh, Tom. Elio Norsi. Hey, man. How are you? The possibilities are infinite. So we're gonna devour this Tali, all right? Where there's a will, there's a meal. Do the work. Level shaped. Allow me a small sample. Ugh. Maybe the pass angle was better. We don't be double shaped. And if he has Malphite, we just lose. No Malphite. They are my people, and I am theirs. Okay. Hey, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. I wonder what he drags. Okay, he does it this way. Throw another rock.
Live with purpose. I guess we're gonna do the don't die angle. You pay first. And we'll do a safe block like this. If he can't actually kill the Soraka, he's in a bit of trouble next turn. Could you give me some pointers on Ed's Draven? Um, as wise people have said to me, you have to look for your combo turns. It has a little bit of complexity to it in the mid game. Imagine if he finds Blighted Ravine. So basically, Tri-Beam, Arachnoid Sentry, Flock, and Slow Plane turns are all the way to go. If that, I, it's hard to explain, but basically look for moments in the game where you can punish your opponent and do a lot of damage, which usually involves like tri-beams and certain board states. And look for, look for turns where maybe just consider your open attacks a lot more. Stars fall. By starlight, take heart. There'll be no block here, I'm pretty sure. I'm stuck at times Good to see you too, as if to what I want to keep in my hand and what spells I need to use. Um, that just comes with practice. If I, kill you, I, don't fortune, stupid. I think the best thing to you can do is probably like focus on one matchup at a time. Right, and when you're playing against that matchup, just kind of like think about what cards they could play that could punish you hard for using a spell. Is TK Raka good against Lurk? No, I don't think so. I don't currently think so. Turn the stones. Was there a way to win last turn? Well, this deck doesn't play Reach right, so... I think we're chilling. Pablo's been down! Let his knee out! There's no... Uh, oh, wait. His deck does play Reach. He didn't find it. Oh, actually, I would have lost to... um. I would have lost that six drop. So pre-committing the healing on the Talia was probably correct. I could have I could have basically been on four HP and played around the six drop simultaneously. Oops. Cause I could have I could have like I could have played around it by like even if my unit dies, like he can't target anything with the unit, so he doesn't deal damage to me anyway. That was just a really bad play, in hindsight. Tarek J4. They don't one run concerted strike, from what I remember. This is a decent hand, actually. 
Wow, fantastic. Um, Tom Kench plus Vigor. Like, Tom Kench matches his Taracon curve, which is really good. If we were attacking on odds, it'd be a lot better, but that's fine. I don't think we blocked this. All right. Uh, Bright Steel Protector. Or Laurent, Laurent Protégé. I'm happy if he taps out of mana this turn, actually. Who does not know the name Laurent? Yeah, this is fine. Harry, repost, he gets the gem, and he gets good Pardon. value here. We go down to 13. Okay. I don't think we need the mana. Table for one, if you oblige. Hey, is uh, dinner on you then? Simply like just developing Tarek this turn is pretty average. I think we take those passes. Yep. From what I remember, this deck doesn't play. Like, if he's copy-pasted this deck, uh, there's no concerted strike. This seems like a pretty good devour, right? It's gonna buff up the other challenger units, we don't want that. I think we just go for this. I think he's playing this as like bait. Um, we are just putting high priorities into protecting Tom Kench, so astral protection is key here. Anything but Astral Protection is griefing. We literally beat everything. We just do this. I don't think we need to block there either. He can just take the gems back, it's fine. And this is the classic Tom Kench gameplay. This is the classic oh, Tom Kench gameplay. Right now, I think the best play I can make is just open pass. We are winning with mana. Um, opponent literally needs to play cards to actually win the game. I do not currently need to play anything. Like opponent can never pass here. Okay, he spent a little bit of mana. Start the round. I'll work with that. Ooh, you wee we'll probably just look for trading off the blinding... The chicken, the valor. Maybe it's just better to Where go like this. So he gets less gem value. We've passed initiative. Um, I think if he passes here, I'll probably just end the turn. Okay. So he can't do a lot about, like, I can allow him to play Tarek by doing this. 
I don't think Jarvan's really killing me on the open. Should be fine. Anyway, Jarvan actually targets the Boxtopus. Jarvan challenges the strongest enemy, correct? You had your chance to walk away. I always dread astral protection when it's fighting like Soraka Kench. Of course. To be savored in purpose. You should. That's busted in Soraka Tom Kench. So we allowed him to develop Tarek basically at the end of this turn, so um pretty well navigated from the opponent. However, 15 out of 22, his best play is... Well, it's not open attack, because Jarvan's not good Shatter here. Them. I guess Jarvan's pretty good here. Ours is but to do and die. Closer, friend. I have Bastion, so I can beat single combat here. You know what I should have done? You know what would have been like a really smart play? Is to put the Tom Kench into the GOAT in case of this outcome. That would have been a really nice play. Damn. This is a tough. That's okay. Surely he can't kill the Tom Kench here. Oh, we are playing Astral Protection. So he's dealing a total of 9 damage to my Tom Kench, correct? win right shake down guiding gg well, i guess we made a bit of a climb with tk soraka went up one division yeah, when, so when Tom Kench gets hushed, uh, anything that's devoured doesn't exist. So basically those units just disappear. So like a common play I've made in the past in previous metas would be to uh, use hush on my own Tom Kench to deny them using removal. 
It's actually pretty nice. That's why I played three hush usually. 